Tim Albright with Aviation Nation at Infocom 2019 in the Matrox booth with David Chimpini. Thanks for having us, sir. Okay. You're welcome all the time here, Tim. Uh, you guys have got a, a really cool product here and you're holding it in your hand here. Yep. It's called the Quad Head To Go. Uh, on the back, you've got four HDMI um, outputs. Talk about what this box does. So. This box is actually a follow-on to products that we've built previously. Very successful dual head-to-go and triple head-to-go that took in one high-resolution video and split that video on two or three heads, mostly to expand uh, either laptops or multimedia boxes, so digital signage boxes, so that it can get more screens. But this one's a little bit different than those and is much more focused on display wall expansion, but same concept. We take in a high resolution DisplayPort 1.2 signal, so it can be up to 8K by 8K at like 15 hertz, wow. or 4K at 60 hertz. And then we split it across four HDMI outputs that are totally independent. They can be any resolution up to HD, but any orientation, portrait, landscape. So it kind of looks like what you see here yeah. is very possible. And it could be any configuration, any hole, they can be overlapping, or they can just be in a two by two array and if you, for example, take uh, four graphics cards with four outputs, and then I can expand that to be uh, four times four is 16, times four is 64 HD outputs from a very small PC. We have all the rack mount equipment, so they can be mounted, mounted three to a rack, or 10 if you do it this way, so high density in my rack solution. And we also offer the exact same product in a PCI Express card form factor. Oh, wow. It's OS agnostic, it fits into a slot, same software, same response, same behavior, but it's easier to integrate. So if I have a PC that's necessary and I have some free slots, I can use this. And if I need to do it as an appliance, I can do it this way. So it's really the choice of the customer and what's most convenient for them to integrate. Talk for a second, you, you, you keep using it, you know, making sure that you can reorient it and, and make this happen. Talk about the software for a second and, and the ease of use of that. Uh, really, you, it, it, it's almost like a, uh, a, 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 a scale um, visual where you drag and drop and, and kind of move the video around. Like for example, we have one here. It's already someone who's been playing with it. Yeah. But I mean, I can see I can have different resolutions of different videos and I can easily just come in with my mouse uh, if I can see where the cursor is, and I can grab a window and I can move it. And technically, well, it's not going to happen because we want this always yeah. to be running right now, but it's that easy to orient. Okay. The software comes free with the product, there's no additional charge, and you can work offline. You do all your layouts, you actually can load them into the box or the card, and then I can unplug my network, unplug everything, and I can control it by the buttons that we have in the front. So I don't need wow. to keep it connected to anything anymore. If I want to keep it connected for firmware updates or anything that has to happen. But otherwise, once it's set up, the box is standalone. I can set them up at my factory, send it up with my installer. He goes on site and he selects from a list of 20 layouts. It's very easy to use for him at that point, right? Very cool. Yes. Um, if somebody's here at the at Infocom 2019 and they want to come by and see this, what booth number are you in? 3055. All right, 3055. Uh, if they're not here and they want to find out more about Quad Head to Go, matrox.com or Google Quad Head to Go, and I'm sure you'll find everything you need about it. And of course, we're everywhere online. All right, good. David Ciappini from Matrox uh, for us, for Aviation. Go by our website, aviation.tv. That's aviation.tv for more coverage from the show for Infocom 2019. All that and more at aviation.tv. That's aviation.tv.